all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, I'm going to tell them what it is that I'm doing, and I'm going to give them the opportunity to help me. They can help me or not help me, that's fine. I, I don't attach anything to that. But if I never gave them the opportunity, and this turned out to be the enormous thing, they might say, hey, call me, and then came to me. And we so stop ourselves. We so stop ourselves. Now, Mary mentioned, uh, um, you know, I inhaled it too, about getting to that island. Now, back in the day, go way back, decades back there. And um, the guy that was the love of my life and passed away, he was a sailor. And one day he said to me, and I'm about 21 at the time, do you want to go sailing for a month? I had only known him about a month. And I thought, sure, why not? Me, the shy kid. I didn't sail, I didn't swim, I didn't go in the ocean, I didn't know from anything about it. And I quit my job to go sailing with him on a little 24 foot sailboat cool. out of um, Port Jefferson, Long Island. We went to Nantucket, and I'm telling you, we were in every weather situation you can imagine. I have actually even been on a 24 foot sailboat in a hurricane and rode it out. Now that's sport, I will tell you. But it meant that I had to totally immerse myself in it. You just jump in with both feet. Get some <coughs> up. Get people that believe in you, but immerse yourself in it. And decide, you know, I'm not just going to let the rest of my life just kind of go along. Create a plan, even for that. All right. Any other questions while we're on this? Yes. Um, I, I just, I, I think, um, like in my particular situation, I, I spent most of my life kind of following my passions and following my heart. I was a musical entertainer for seven years. Mm. And, you know, now I'm in a situation where because the economy's gotten tight and because, you know, just a lot of different things have sort of shifted. And I, and that's sort of what I'm picking up from other people is it, you, you almost feel like you have to just go after what is practical. And, and the, the kind of things you're talking about, I think we all know, you know, I would enjoy whatever I'm doing a lot more if I could if I could incorporate all the creative parts of me and all those other things. Yeah. But you just kind of feel like you have to just put that aside for now and just focus on the, the realities of finding something as soon as possible. Yeah, and I, as I said, I can so appreciate that for sure because that's where your focus is. But I really want to stress not to lose sight of those other things, even if you know in a moment. You say, all right, I've got to take this job because I need income coming in. Many people, my sister included, still doing work that she's kind of, you know, mentally done with. But she said, I've got to find ways to fund this. I'm going to find all the ways I can do it. And it's the same thing, Jeff. You might just get into something, but don't lose sight of those other parts. Because as I said, if you don't honor that, it shows up as a penalty later on. It really, really does. That's all that I'm saying. We're all in that challenging situation. Yes. 